For years, Ford has been messing up, making big mistakes on something so simple. Stay tuned. So we're gonna do an oil change on this old bird today and I'm gonna show you why Ford has been messing up for years. Now despite the fact that this is probably one of the most reliable cards Ford's ever made in recent history, that oil filter down there is a son of a gun. You son of a gun. Son of a gun. Well, a son of a gun. Son of a gun. To get out from its location when you're doing an oil change. Not so much because I can't get out. I can reach down here and, and get it. But in order to get it out, you've got to drop it down past all that steering rack and hoses and everything and oil drips all over the place. So we're going to show you how Ford messed it up. So from down here, you can see right up in there is the oil filter. Now in order to get it out, I can reach right up in here, spin that off, but guess where all the oil goes when it drains out of the filter? In your face! And you can see it all caked up on all these lines. It goes all over the rack, all over the line, and it drips all over the place. And the Crown Vicks, the Grand Marquis Town Cars aren't the only ones to do it. All of the new Ford F-150s are doing the same thing and they messed it up. Did not. Did too. All they had to do was relocate the oil filter. They could have put it anywhere on the frame rail. There's a perfectly good location right there. Out in the open, just run a couple of hoses to it. I mean, power steering's got hoses going all over the place. Anyways, we're gonna see if we can zig that filter off and we'll show you just how much of a mess it makes. Okay, so we're going to try and get this thing situated so you guys can see when I spin that filter off there. Alright, so I'm going to start spinning that off slowly. And there she goes. And now the trick is... Oh, Spin that off without getting it all over your face. Pow! Right in the kitchen! Now we've got to get that out of there without dumping the rest of it out. Somehow. Now wouldn't that have been much simpler had Ford just batted up here in the frame rail? I think so. Now one thing that Ford did on the Ford half tons, which was a good idea in theory was to put a tray to catch all the oil and funnel it out elsewhere. The problem is, is the tray would have it funnel out this way, but it would all go back and land in the skid plate. Now, normally I would also recommend putting oil in this filter, but you gotta pretty well turn it on the side to dump it out to get it back up there, so I ain't gonna do that. So there's the mess that you've got to clean up and uh, otherwise it's going to drip all over your driveway and make a mess and people walk in it and track it into your building and this and that. So I'm going to grab some brake cleaner and spray it up in there and if this was a customer car I'd probably charge out the brake cleaner to clean up the mess. That should do her. So tell me guys, what do you think about the uh, oil filter placement on Ford vehicles? Is there something that's a little bit worse than that? Let me know in the comment section down below.
So I'm not quite sure what's going on. I just pumped five liters in. Let me just double check that. 4.996 liters to be exact. Yet when we check the dipstick, showing to the ad mark so first thing you do when you pump five liters into your engine and it's not showing on the dipstick is you look underneath make sure you put the drain plug in no oil dripping there so what do you do Tom Mortsky so now's a good time to mention, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now and also hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I'm on a goal to try and reach 21,000 subscribers by the end of the year and without your guys' help, I can't do it. Um, and part of that growth is being part of the CNC or Community Not Competition uh, thingy where we share other people's channels, we make sure that we have the opportunity to talk about other channels, not just our own. And uh, I want to give a big shout out to Luke and Bobo over at Coastal Auto Reaction, the car guys who have uh, been very supportive of my channel. If you don't know who they are, I'm going to leave a link right up here as well as in the description box below. You guys can go over and hit them up and see what's going on over there. Now to find out where our oil is going, we're going to uh, just double check and make sure that our gauge is reading properly, that we're actually pumping what it says we're pumping. So. We'll check that out. Well, you'd think I'd know this, but I had to go look it up. This thing holds six quarts. So we'll pump another one in there and see if it's enough. Six point oh. We'll give it a second or two to drain down into the pan and we'll check her one more time. How did I not know that holds six? You don't know everything. I guess maybe I'm not doing enough oil changes, I don't know. And my phone has been buzzing like crazy for the last few minutes, wondering who could it be? It's Luke from Coastal Auto Reaction, bugging me while I'm trying to do some work. Anyways, let's check that oil. That's better. You guys probably can't see that, but she's right on the dot. Now, as you guys know, I've mentioned before that this thing leaks oil at a pretty regular rate. Uh, I check it basically every time I put gas in it, which is at least once a week, and it just barely goes down a little tiny bit. It's not burning that much, but if I go on a long trip, say for an hour or so, uh, you can notice probably a good oh, quarter of a quart or 250 milliliters will go down. So. Uh, we're done with this oil change, and uh, I hope that I've proven to you guys just exactly how I feel uh, about the oil filter placement on these cars and a lot of the Ford products because uh, they could have certainly have done something a little bit better. Uh, most other vehicles, it's right there in the open. Uh, even the Ford Escapes, the newer ones, 13s and up, uh, you got to kind of get way up in there and twist your, contort your hand to get that filter up in be behind the AC lines or whatever it is there. Just an odd spot, so. Ford certainly could have done a better job. Anyways, we're going to uh, finish up this oil change and close out this video. So guys, I'm really hoping that the next video is going to be the EFI install on Dale the truck. You've been seeing some updates on Instagram and uh, I really think that this is going to be a breakthrough video for my channel. I've been waiting for one for a long time. Three years, in fact, of almost 500 videos. Haven't been able to crack that code yet. But anyways, uh, also, don't forget the Car Guy and Six Fan Show on Thursday evenings this coming week. It will be on my channel. Uh, we've got a very special guest lined up. I hope you guys can tune in for that. And also, one last ditch effort for the Solo B Roll Channel. The not channel. The Solo B Roll Challenge. The rules are in the description box down below. All you got to do is create a 90 second video featuring yourself using one camera and uh, keep it within 90 seconds. Like I said, rules are down below. It's a challenge that we put out there. We've got well over a dozen people, almost 20 people participating in this now. I hope that we can see you guys there. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.